Hi everyone. Hello. Um, welcome back to the channel. I'm Mitch. I am Mrs. Mitch and I have bad news for all of you. I miss all of you very, very badly. <laughs> you probably thought we'd <laughs> fallen off the face of the earth. Uh, lots and lots of things have happened. Yeah. Uh, these past, I guess, uh, month, six weeks or something yeah. like that. Plus health <clears throat> issue, but it's okay. Praise the Lord, be all right. Anyway, today we're off to somewhere uh, quite special. Mm. We have a little surprise in store, mm. and uh, I think you're going to love it. So stay yeah, tuned. So. Yeah. Um, we're going to drive for about uh, I don't know 40, 50 minutes yes. to reach our destination, uh, and then we will see the surprise okay okay all right see <laughs> <Okay>. you soon <laughs> Bye. we're on the we're on kiavan street uh nearing bagram yan um, intersection overpass and already the um already the traffic is just crazy it's 1 30 in the afternoon so we're going left here and we're heading on to comitas comitas eventually the the volume of traffic in Yerevan now is so much worse than it was a couple of years ago. Even a couple of years ago it was bad. <clears throat> That's why I'm always saying, best thing to do, buy a donkey. Yeah. No such a traffic jam with donkey. So we look at the street and you can see lots of uh, new developments going, buildings. And buildings in Yerevan growing like mushrooms. I can't understand uh, who buying them because it's so expensive. Uh, with this uh, kind of money people spending on an uh, apartment, it's very easy for you to buy a private house. Well, there's somebody who just wants to so, get run over. Yeah, somebody wanted to get run over, but praise the Lord my husband, because he's a fantastic driver, he avoid, uh, avoid the tragedy. Now we're taking direction to Azatotian Prospect, which is, uh, will be there a few seconds time. Now and from here. Well, you said prospect. What's a prospect? Well, prospect like uh, street, as a Tutian street, as a Tutian Avenue prospect. Oh. We're saying prospect. If we're learning uh, English, maybe English speaking people can learn Armenian. Never, uh, nothing wrong to know languages. This is uh, uh, showing your intelligence. Anyway, we're on the prospect as a Tutian, and uh, now we're taking direction towards. Uh, Sivan, Sivan right. and from there, slowly, slowly, Kiss surprise! Back. And there's a park there. Nice park, the yeah. Actually, winter time, children uh, going there to ski because they are ice. But now all this, like you know, um, playground and uh, many lake different, there. yeah, lakes there, carousels. Who knows what they, what you can't find there. But children enjoying like it and adults too, mm. of course. And uh, here's some uh, very interesting build, uh, a house, if I can say, from uh, log, logs? Log cabin. Log cabin, yeah, it's just my favorite, favorite cabins. Any Canadian can and want to give me a present log cabin, I'll be gratefully appreciative. I love them. There's been a few things that have been on my mind lately and I just want to share with you. Uh, I think some very, very unfortunate developments in our society. Not just Armenian, but all over the world. When we start to see the fracturing of uh, traditional family values or traditional families and start saying that that's actually not the normal norm anymore, and uh, men with men and women with women and transsexuals and all of this kind of thing have got more rights than married people. I think we're certainly on our way to a very bad place. And we have gone against God's commandments, that's for sure. And we're seeing the fruit of that now in society where you can't tell what a woman is anymore. At least in Armenia, generally speaking, you can, but I've noticed, and my, Sonia and I have noticed so much, uh, how many young girls are actually full of tattoos. Um, boys too, but the amount of young girls now, I'm not saying necessarily Armenian girls, <coughs> but certainly Russian, 
Uh, no, no offense against our Russian brothers and sisters, but it seems like they've embraced more of Western uh, these bad Western practices than even Armenians have, and you see it all over the place. So that's a very bad trend that I'm seeing. And uh, I would just want to encourage the young people who are watching this, young and old, uh, to not just accept these um, societal so-called norms in blindly. Uh, but maybe open up your Bible if you have and read the New Testament and just see how much of this new how much of these new so-called norms uh, are in line with the teaching of the Holy Bible uh, and of what our Lord uh, Jesus Christ uh, says uh, you might just want to show up here. We've got a major blockage here. Yeah. I don't know what's yeah. going on. Some traffic jam, I don't People know what. starting to go. Actually, interesting, this ambulance passed us, but now he can't <clears throat> go anywhere, nowhere. Can you see him? Uh, it's probably an accident. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. on this subject girls understand <coughs> that God created you as a girl and he created you so in such a beautiful way you don't have to go and mess up your body and then uh, be dissatisfied with the, with the fact that you're born a girl and try to make yourself a man this is ungodly it's evil it's confusing it's poisonous in the minds of these young people and shame on our Western society for for um, creating such an evil, I can say, doctrine. Uh, just be, just be yourself. Be who you are. You're beautiful. Men love you for who you are and for your natural beauty, not for this kind of fake. Um, I don't know what do you call them? duck lips and uh, uh, who knows what. As my wife would say, they put so much makeup on their face. It would break ex excavate, excavator's teeth to get the makeup off. Yeah, I'm right. <laughs> so, just be, just be yourself. Just be who you are. And boys, just leave your bodies as God intended. Don't plaster them with, uh, with tattoos. And it's so I ugly. See my, Can I you see imagine my... what you're going to look like when you're 70 or 80 years of age with these tattoos of people's names and? and this is similar if somebody can. Uh, create like you know I mean um, uh, yeah create flower when you're looking on this flower half of this flower is roast and other half is tulip <coughs> going to look horrible I love these trees yeah me too this is poplar trees favorite trees uh, my husband's favorite trees they are very beautiful trees but um, people who have asthma they are very dangerous for them Maybe I hope you can see more poplar trees. Anyway, so that's my little sermon for today. Forgive me. I know some of you don't like me saying these things, but I'm not going to shut up because it's who I am. It's what I, uh, I'm passionate about. And who cares if some are offended by that? Uh, you can always tune out and watch another channel. It's fine. I still love you. So we're turning now to Arzni, I mean, uh, to road taking you to Arzni, just you could see on the sign. And from there, we're going to go to surprise, to area where is surprise, surprise. <laughs> and you can uh, see what we're talking about, you can understand. Clear, uh, as uh, Russians saying, better once uh, to see than 10,000 times to hear. So, and, and what's the and what's the Russian um, uh, phrase for that? Лучше раз услышать, чем сто. На лучше раз увидеть, чем сто раз услышать. And in Armenian? Avli lava do te nasmiankam, te nasmiankam. Kastele says how rankam. Bravo. Bravo. What's that mountain straight ahead? It's on. Pio kalitera. Now, Vlepis Miafora, then I'll post a thousand forest. 
I'm asking. Aurelia. 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 Some people call that just they abbreviate it to Mount Ara, but it's Aurelia. Not Aurelia. Arai Ler. Are. Arai I I. Le Le. Information. Arai. Okay. Whatever. Ler. Okay. Okay, so, whatever. So, who cares? Surely this thing. Who? No, I was saying who cares? And my 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 meters, best friend, yeah. my beloved, surely was always laughed laugh yeah, on that. Our Irish friend. Yeah, my, my our uh, Irish, my Irish Christian sister. God bless her and her husband. I love them so deeply and so much. And I miss you like a crazy. Surely, if you're watching this channel. I mean, our video, I love you and I miss you. Now we're going to be turning right. Yeah, now we're going towards right. Towards the village of? Birahavan. Mm -hmm. But that's not our destination. No, it's not our destination. And while we're talking about dear friends, we want to mention our beautiful, beautiful Indian uh, family mm -hmm. who we have come to know and love deeply over the last three months yep and they know who they are and they know who we are yeah and we're kind of family together and guess what nobody in the world can be so lucky and blessed uh, as me because this lady for me and my sister and my daughter and my mother-in-law <laughs> <Hooray>! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, so big hello to them. Yeah, we love big you. So love, much. Yeah, we love all of you very, now, very deeply and very much. This is the village of Birhavan. So many trucks in here. What was going on? Where's they gone? Anyway, safe journey, boys. So we're on this road that leads to a village called Nurnus. Nurnus. Nurnus, yes. N U R N U S. Going closer and closer to surprising area, and uh, yeah, very soon you can understand what we're talking about. Now is a little bit difficult for you, but you'll get there. Look at these mountains! Wow, look at these villages! Wow, yeah, it's very pretty. Lots of little duchas are down there, which is a Russian name for a summer house. Yeah, beautiful area. Look at this beauty. Wow. And now we're going to surprising area, which is, uh, you can understand what's going on. So we turned off the main road up there. We came down here. And uh, that's the little village road there. Village road leading to some uh, dacha homes, I guess. But we came this way <clears throat> and uh, just up the end is what we want to show you. Yes. Isn't it Mrs. Mitch? Yes. Uh, <clears throat> by the way, did I tell you today that I love you? No, you didn't. I'm yes, kes, yes, 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 shout. Yeah, me too. Back to you. <laughs> <laughs> and there's uh, Ani, our car. And uh, well, she's wondering what the heck we're doing here as well. So, this is what we want to show you. This piece of land here is at the end of this little village road. And this potentially could be ours. Uh, and we'll show you down here. This sign, by the way, says uh, Don't throw rubbish. <coughs> 10,000 10, drum. It's about $25 yeah. fine. It should be much yeah. more than that. More. It should be a uh, $100 fine. Yeah, yeah, and you'll see what we mean. Yeah. But anyway, uh, this piece of land here is what we're looking at. I hope you can get a sense of the elevation here. This. Um, Half constructed building here comes with the land. This can be used as a um, as a storeroom or workshop or something like that. It's quite a good construction. And uh, if we were to buy this land, we would do so uh, like in conjunction with our brother. 
uh, he would probably be building the the house on the land so it's already got a wall here on the left uh, but we want to show you here just exactly where we are I hope you can see look at that look at that look, look at that amazing mountain, mountain. that's Look's Mount Aurelia, Ar Aurelia. Aurelia. Uh, okay whatever and uh, I guess they're the mountains that are close to Hrazdan up there, or maybe Az, Azni, uh, not Azni. What's the name of that village where, uh, where the water is? Ah, Bizni. Bizni. I guess that would be, yeah. And I think that's the Hrazdan Canyon, Hrazdan Canyon further there. Yeah. And you can see it's sort of ending here. And there's another little canyon here. Yeah. And that's where we are. I don't think there's any river that, well, there may be uh, water passing through that, but you can see, uh, you can see we're kind of in the, in the hills here. Yeah. It's quite a steep drop down there. Uh, unfortunately, people have used this as a bit of a rubbish tip, uh, as you can see from here. And if we were to buy this, we would get the former owners to clean this up, or the um, local council. We'll take you over here. This wall, I think, is part of the property. The land itself that is for sale ends somewhere around here. And uh, I think, yeah, we see there. It's quite a drop down there. And there's a lot of rubbish down there too, sadly. We could put like uh, some fruit trees here, uh, some pergola. Yeah. It's a lovely, it's a lovely location. It's obviously quite windy now, but uh, I love it. Sonia came here with her brother, M Mrs. Mitch came with her brother the other day to have a look as I wasn't well. And uh, she wanted me to come and have a look. So I think I love it. I, I particularly love that, all that greenery there and the view of the mountain in the distance. Nobody's going to be building in front. So the house, I believe, would go next to this, uh, like other construction here. It would go probably somewhere there. So it would cut into the uh, this little slope to have a solid foundation here. We'd cut into that and uh, possibly even make a basement, I don't know. And uh, this can be all one area here, up to here, make a nice home. So that's our surprise. We're very near now, uh, to Kiavan Street. As you can see, we're coming to the Bagramyan um, intersection. If we went straight, we would go into the city, but we're going to the right and we're nearly home. I thank you God for giving us a safe journey and we hope you enjoyed the video because we wanted to show you some little surprise today. We hope you like it and uh, what else? So What else? Be safe so and stay safe and God bless you and we love you. Yeah. Okay, see you next time. See you next time. Bye. 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 Bye.